Welcome back everybody, and today I have behind me a hopper delay circuit. Now what this would be used for is some sort of storage system or item filtration device that has to take a slower input of items, uh, where the regular hopper speed needs to be slower than the hopper speed inside the circuit so that the entire device has enough time to finish what it's doing. So if I just press this button here, let's go ahead and watch how the items travel along. As you can see, the one with no device is going considerably faster. And here we are at the end. As you can see, it's already way ahead. And now comes the slower hopper right here. Now, if we were to put a bunch of items, just put some redstone torches in here, you would see that the system doesn't just delay the item that's going through in front, it delays the speed of items coming in as well. Which of course is a good thing when you want everything to be slowed down. And of course here we are at the end. Just about, here we go. So that double pulse here is because there's one that's getting delayed and one that's already in the system. So when the delay turns off, it gets to go into the hop or the dropper. So that's why you get two items being dispensed in a row, then a delay, because that's the uh, backup right here. Oh, and we can see that there is still some delay coming along. I might just be because I unloaded the chunks. Now we can see a break. Yeah, it's probably just because I unloaded the chunks. So, the way this works is the item goes in. Like normal, it just passes by this. Then it is detected by this comparator here. And a signal is powering this hopper, delaying further items to go inside the system. And what it does is this item here moves on to this uh, um, dropper and is delayed by this repeater. When the delay turns off, it gets to move on to this one while the other item is in this hopper. So when you'll have two, two items here and here, this item will then move on to be delayed in this one and this one be will be delayed to move from this one like normal, and the cycle will continue all the way down the chain. And the reason that this works with the full stack of items, I'll go ahead and show it here, running again. The item in this hopper is delaying the stack of items in this hopper so that you only have one going in at a time. Now I'm just going to break this repeater here, and you can see that we are waiting as everything piles up into this hopper. So you'll constantly be detecting the items in this hopper and not letting items in this hopper move on. And of course, when everything gets into here, the whole system will start up again. But of course, that is a bad thing because if you have more, then ten st or more than five stacks of items, it will fill up this hopper here. This one will have an item in it overflow, and nothing else will be able to move through. So that's why you need to limit the items coming into the system like so. Now let's go ahead and get to the tutorial by flying up here. Here we go. Just have a shorter chain of hoppers. So to get started. On the beginning of your limiting section on your hopper line, have a block here, a block here, a block here, and just make a U shape like this. And of course, this is a tileable system. So let me just grab the extra items here, place a block right there, redstone on either side of the block, comparator going into the block, and hoppers leading from the redstone into the hop or er, repeaters leading from the redstone into the hoppers. 
like so. And now if I were to press this button, you can see that it does receive that delay. And that's just running through normally. It is quite a short amount of hoppers, so you're not going to see that delay too much here. But if you really analyze the frames, it, it is there. So of course, let's go ahead and continue tiling, like so. We don't actually have that much room for this, but it still is enough nonetheless. So of course, now this is a slower system. If I remember to put that to four, there we go. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode, so like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!